little buzz of activity here today. We have the generator running. So much is going on in there, but I want to show you some stuff. So came out here. Um, over the many years in this particular property, there has been so much out of code plumbing, it's not even funny. Fortunately, I believe it all gets grandfathered in, but if I make any repairs, they have to be to code. So a lot of it I'm gonna leave as it is um, for now. And then when we redo the bathroom is when we're planning on redoing the plumbing so that expense can happen all but at once. What I did just come up with today is there was this, a pipe, um, a PVC pipe for the, the gaps coming out of this old galvanized pipe ground. This pipe, like it comes up to here and then it was running all the way up. Let me show you, it's supposed to run above the roof line. But with what they had here, which was this onto that, it was coming just to about here. It's totally not to code. And aside from the code, it just, it's really crappy work. Let me show you how bad it was. Asked all the lizards who were living here to go find a new home. Sorry guys. And then here's what was here. You can see the shingles of the old house were behind here. Whoever did the siding, which I'm guessing was sometime in the 80s, cut this hole in it. <laughs> Left the shingles of the old house underneath and made it so it would line up with that pole. Rather than doing anything, any sort of 90 shape, cur 90 degree shape curves, S curves, anything like that, they could have done something to get it away from the house, but instead they cut into the siding of the house. And here's what's so wrong with that. If you look carefully here, you can see the siding. You know what that white stuff is? That right there? That is actually the sheetrock in the bathroom wall. So that right there is bathroom wall, which runs up right about this level, right about here. Toilet is flushing. Right about here. Um, every time it rained, the moisture was going in here. So this entire bathroom wall shows up at about a 30% to 35% moisture rating a few days after a rain. So I didn't check it the day after a rain. So I've got to somehow today go get stuff to make a little curve that comes out, run the pipe up, I'll anchor it further, like maybe up there somewhere. It'll definitely be a temporary hold and I gotta find a way to seal up this hole in the sheetrock. So this is what I got from Ace Hardware. It's two pieces. Boom and boom. When combined, it should make an angle. Um, it's the same size as what was previously here. This is not good plumbing, but um, this is gonna be my temporary fix. Should put some seal around that to keep it away from the house while I figure out the water issue. See the S curve comes up. Still is gonna run cattywampus up there to the top, but it does go over the roof line now. But I still think that there's nowhere near code. So when an inspector comes out, he's gonna tell me I need to fix it. But the good news is I can fix the side of the house. In the meantime, um, we'll let you know how it goes.